We just started school this morning and we're doing flower petal math. For Bible time and during school, we're working through the ology. It's really good. Did you find a puddle? It rained a lot last night, didn't it? Did you hear the rain? No. Talk about it. You want it Uh huh. Yeah. Okay. Mommy, take me. Can you can you take a picture of me? Becky is collecting dandelions like it's her job. Here's the bread that Ruben and I made. It's really delicious. How is it? Is it really good? Not a dandelion. Yeah. You should try a piece. Dandelion. Wow. It looks great. It tastes like cheese. Becky, do you like the bread? Is there cheese in it? Yeah, it tastes like cheese. The kids' seeds are really starting to come up. These are our quarantine plants. We planted them, I think it was day three of quarantine. Or maybe day two, I don't know. And day 15. Now, it's like it is day 15 or 16, I've lost track. And they're growing. I've been reading a lot lately about the virus and about all of the theories surrounding where it came from and like what happened and Trump and positive and negatives and just all the different angles. It's really overwhelming. The one thing I do see consistently is we're supposed to stay home to flatten the curve, which doesn't mean we're not going to get the virus. That means we want to get the virus at different times from other people so we don't overwhelm the system. We're all probably going to be exposed to it because the virus has a 7 to 14 day incubation period where you don't know that you have it, but you can still be contagious. So we're all going to get exposed eventually, but we want to flatten the curve or to make it less steep so that we all get the virus staggered so we don't overwhelm the hospital. And the other thing that I didn't know is that this is going to be a seasonal virus like the flu. It's going to come back next year. It's going to reoccur. And I didn't think about that, but I think what I'm focusing on now is trusting God and trying to boost my immune system and praying a lot and just grounding myself in the spirit. God knows when I'm going to die. He's got me. He's going to protect me if I need to be protected and my children too. But those are my thoughts from today and I'm praying for all of you guys. But, um... This virus isn't just going to go away uh, by staying home. We're actually making it last longer as we isolate ourselves. Um, those are my thoughts. I don't think people that are going out are making it last longer. It's us staying home, we're making it last longer and that's the goal. That's why we're staying home to flatten the curve, to stretch it out. Instead of having this big, huge curve, we're going to stretch it out over a long period of time. I don't know. Am I making sense? I'm making spaghetti. I made gluten-free noodles, regular noodles, and we have leftover bread. And I'm using Prego sauce today. Not a big fan of this brand, actually, but it's what we have. Is it good? Becky demanded to have the noodles that are shaped like mine. The noodles? 
yeah, those are the gluten-free ones.